Okay. All right. Part two. Two. Next step is <clears throat> number four. Wiring. Let's see that. Oh, there, there you go. Wiring. Connect X-axis motor line and limit switch. Lock the limit switch position shown with two Phillips head screws. 2.5 times 10. Okay. So that's gonna be in this jumble. It's one marked with Z. Oh, it's got a nice heat shrink that's not been shrunk. Z limit switch. X limit switch. Y limit switch. And it looks like a general connection ribbon for brake switch. Kind of concerning that these just free spin in there. And insert motor cable into the motor port. Note the direction of the shrapnel. Yeah, because that's shrapnel. Here's just the direction of the shrapnel. Connect the Y. Y looks like it goes down. So do not over tighten these screws. They will definitely just free spin. We're probably gonna have to come back and put some like Loctite in here to make sure they stay. Just till it starts getting taut and stop. down to just where we can see the cherry switch and glass kind of touch. Glass is great because it's got a reflection. It's right there where it's just almost touching the glass. So that's where I'm going to slide this up just when you hear it click. Don't, don't look at the button, listen to the button. If you look at the button, you think it can depress more. It can, but that's not how these little switches work. These aren't quite cherry switches, but they're close. They're inside thousands of devices. Every arcade game you've ever used, used them. I think this thing has a heated bed. So this can have two Z motors, huh? Even though it's only referencing one.
two schools of thought on this. I am in the school of soldering every day. And other people are hell bent on it. Not. Especially guys in the audio world. Like if you solder XLR cable ends, I mean, some guys just pull it out. It doesn't really make any sense. Maybe there is, and some audiophile guy will know better, but you know what? I'll buy it. Some guys that buy monster cables. My favorite is high fidelity HDMI or high fidelity, you know, analog cables. Yeah, magic copper. The printing platform performs automatic leveling operation. No, it doesn't. How? There's no circuitry. There's no beat, there's no, there's no center. It's just a fan. Bullshit. I'm calling out. I'm calling out bullshit. That's awesome. We got a green light on the power supply. Trick kids. It's ex Vico. You are but the buzzing of flies to them. Okay, this is leveling. Print a lot with glass. So I find the trick of get it. So you can just barely tap it, and then a little turn. Seems to be the best.
There's not even a USB port on this. So you could not run Octoprint on this even if you wanted to. I feel like I'm uncoiling a slinky. Nothing coming out the hot end yet. Wait, there we go. This is its first print. You can see there's not a lot of information, but it's not a heated bed. It's just a glass bed. Took a little bit of finagling to find its happy spot. But I printed whatever the first G code file is. This is the Xfico X3.